Good morning and welcome to this tutorial video from ST Microelectronics. I'm Andrea Vitali, Sensor Ecosystem Manager in the Internet of Things Excellence Center in Santa Clara. Today I'm going to use the Sensor Tile Development Kit. We will see how to use the event detection logic embedded in MEM sensors and verify its performance. MEMS stands for Microelectromechanical Systems. The event detection logic that we are going to discuss is embedded in the accelerometer MEM sensor. It is the capability to detect events such as change in orientation and tilt, single and double taps, and a freefall condition. It also includes the capability to detect complex events such as steps and count them. A short introduction to the sensor tile. The sensor tile is a reference design, an evaluation tool, and a development platform. The sensor tile is a tiny square-shaped module. It is only 13.5 by 13.5 mm. This module packs a powerful microcontroller, a Bluetooth Low Energy Radio Network Processor, motion sensors, accelerometer and gyroscope, environmental sensors, magnetometer and barometer, and a digital microphone. The sensor tile is part of the sensor tile kit. The sensor tile kit includes two different motherboards that can extend its capabilities the sensor tile cradle board and the sensor tile cradle expansion board. If you want to learn how to assemble the sensor tile, search the Unboxing the Sensor Tile video on YouTube. Once you have assembled your sensor tile, you can connect it to your smartphone. You just need to download and install the ST BlueMS app from the iTunes or the Android store. When you are ready, power up your sensor tile and run the ST BlueMS app on your smartphone. Connect the sensor tile to the ST BlueMS app. Power up the device and wait until you see the orange LED blinking. Then launch the ST BlueMS app. Push on the Start Discovering button and you will see the device name on the list. In this case, we are running the old MEMS 1 firmware version 3.2.0. Select the device and you will be connected. Accelerometer Event Detection. What is it? Accelerometer event detection happens inside the accelerometer sensor. No computation is done on the host microcontroller. Let me say it again. All computation is done on the sensor. The host microcontroller will only receive interrupts based on detected events. The sensor tile uses LSM6DSL, which is a state-of-the-art MEM sensor made of a 3-axis accelerometer to measure linear acceleration and a 3-axis gyroscope to measure angular velocity. On ST.com you will be able to find the datasheet of LSM6DSL. The datasheet summarizes the characteristics of the sensor. On the first page of the datasheet there is a list of features. Today we are going to look at features like the detection of freefall event, inertial wake-up event, change of orientation event, tap and double tap event, change of tilt angle, and the most complex feature, the step detector and counter, pedometer. On ST.com you will also be able to find the application note that explains all the details on how to configure and use these functionalities embedded in the sensor. Yes, these functionalities are embedded in the sensor and they are highly configurable. One of the paragraphs of the application note is dedicated to interrupt generation. Events covered here are the freefall event, the inertial wake-up event, the change of orientation event and the single and double tap events. You will find a detailed explanation on how each event detection works and what are the corresponding parameters that can be configured. Parameters include acceleration thresholds, minimum durations and time intervals. In some cases, access can also be enabled or disabled. Another paragraph of the application note is dedicated to embedded functions. Functions covered here are the step detector and counter pedometer and the computation of the tilt angle and detection of tilt changes. Embedded functions are designed to work at low output data rate to save power. 26 Hz or higher is required for the pedometer and the tilt event detection. On the opposite, the detection of other events for interrupt generation has no limits and can work at an even lower output data rate. Simultaneous detection of multiple events. Press the More icon at the bottom of the screen. A list of items will appear. Select the accelerometer event item. By default, you will be presented with the detection of the change of orientation event. Try to change the orientation of the device. When you're done, press Event Enable and select the event of interest. Let's try multiple events. You will see six different events reported simultaneously. 
The first is the change of orientation event we have already seen. The second is the tap detection. Try to tap on the device and verify that double tap event stays silent. The third is the double tap detection. Try to double tap the device. In this case, a single tap is also detected. Now let's slowly tilt the device. When the program threshold is reached, 60 degree in this case, the tilt event will be triggered. The change of orientation event may also be detected. Finally, let's drop the device. The free fall event will be triggered. Other events may be detected in this case. As an example, the tap event, the change of orientation and others. For the step event and its counter, we will see how it works in few seconds. A complex function, the step counter pedometer. Let's have a closer look to the most complex function implemented in the accelerometer sensor, the step counter or pedometer. Press event enable and scroll to the end until you can see pedometer. Select. Start shaking the device at a slow and regular pace. Keep shaking and do not stop. You will see that after 7 steps, the counter is updated, and then it is updated at every new step. This is so because 7 steps are required to identify the beginning of the work. The 7 steps are not lost, but are included in the counter. Now stop for a while. And then start shaking again, at a slow and regular pace. Keep shaking and do not stop. You will see that after 7 steps the counter is updated, and then it is updated at every new step. Again, the 7 steps that are required to identify the beginning of the work are not lost, but are included in the counter. Anything less than 7 consecutive steps is considered as a random motion, and the counter will not be updated. If you pause after less than 7 steps, these steps are lost, and will not be included in the counter. This is done to improve the accuracy of the counter, eliminating many false positives at the cost of missing few true positives or steps. Log accelerometer events. We will now learn how to log the data. Press event enable and let's select the wake up event. Select. Press the share icon on the top right corner of the screen. A pop-up menu will appear. Select the start logging. Perform some activity. When you're done, press again the share icon and select stop logging. The app will prepare an email with the login attachment. The log is a text file in CSV format, comma separated values. The log holds the output of the event detection function that you have selected. If you have selected the multiple event detection, the log will hold the information of all events that have been identified. During this tutorial, we have seen how to use the Sensor Tile Development Kit to use the event detection logic embedded in MEM sensors and verify its performance. I hope you have seen how easy it is to use the Sensor Tile as an evaluation tool. Thank you for watching. Bye.